Hey guys, how's it going? It's Electron Man. I know uh, I haven't been putting a lot of videos out because I've been really, really busy. And uh, one of the things I've been really busy on is this project with my antenna tower. Um, I used to have it down at the old shop. I finally got it taken down and uh, I'm now in the process of uh, rebuilding it and putting it up on my new shop. And I thought y'all might want to see how I'm going to do this Ron tire. And uh, it'll end up being about a 50 foot tire by the time I'm done. Um, I'm, uh, I've actually got enough I could do about 70 feet, but uh, it gets really sketchy, especially when I'm going to set it up when you get up to that height. Um, you have to do a lot more guy work and everything, whereas if I keep it down around, it'd be like 48 feet. Um, I, if anything, I just needed one, run one set of guys off of it, if any, because of the way I'm going to mount it. But uh, anyway, kind of show you what I got going so far here. I'm pretty much in the middle of the project right now, but uh, I got my pad laid, which that is... Uh, two and a half feet deep by two feet square and those are half inch uh, anchor bolts that go six inches down and uh, basically what I'm doing is I'm creating a triangle base that I'm going to bolt my uh, tire base to and then uh, from there I'm now in the process of building a hinge mount and when I bend the hinge mount I'm going to mount a cable up at the top here and drop it down that way and put a boat hinge on it so that I can actually use it with a hinge and raise and lower it as I need to maintenance the antenna or even if there was bad weather I might even drop it down probably not so much bad weather is more of the fact of that uh, whenever I need to work on an antenna I have an easy way that one person can lift it and drop it I kind of take you in there and show what I got going as far as the home built hinge mount because they want like $500 for a hinge base and then it just concretes in the ground and I wanted something that bolts because doing it that way I can actually if I need to I can, uh, since those are threaded bolts, I can actually put a washer behind it and the bottom bolt I can lift it and lower it to kind of level the tire however I need to to make it nice and vertical. So it gives me a lot more adjustment there. I think my base is more than solid enough. And then I ran a conduit underneath the ground here over to the shop so that I'm not stepping on any of the wires or anything. Probably should have done two inch. I went one and a half inch. We'll see if, I know I got four coaxes going through it. Hopefully I can fit four through it. If not, then could always dig it up and put a two inch in there but uh, anyway way it's going to work is you got your tilt here i'm going to have a cable with a pulley up there and as you can see i've already mounted the top piece which has got that v so the idea is, is once you bring the tire up it'll actually notch into that and the tightness of the cable will hold it there and that basically will uh support the tire and uh probably the only place if i needed to run anything is i might run one guide from there over to that pole on that back side just to, to hold it this side but i don't even think i'm going to really need that we'll We'll see how it all turns out. I actually didn't have a, I didn't have a, I had it up at the other place at 48 feet and I had one set of guys and uh, honestly it didn't even need them. Um, it's pretty stable whenever you, uh, when you bolt it or support it up high like that. But uh, anyway, I'm rambling on now, but but there's the tire. Um, that's uh, that's 30 feet of it and there's another section there. That's 40 and then I got one inside the garage. Um, it'll turn out being between 45 and 48 feet without including the 10 foot pole on top. So I'll be up nice and high on it. I will get that antenna somewhere it needs to be besides four feet off the ground. Like I said, we're about halfway through. Anyway, let me let me kind of show you what I've done as far as my uh, base mount that I'm gonna use for the hinge. Okay, here's my hinge mount base that I have made so far. As you can see here, what I've done is I've taken some, uh, some wrought iron angle and I've welded it to the bottom here. And then obviously I have the three holes and that's where the three anchor bolts are gonna go out there. And uh, so, so it'll set down on those three bolts. And then of course, like I said, it gives you some ability to adjust it that way. But anyway, that's gonna be my anchor, which I made this out of a, uh, I had a piece of section of tire. I actually had probably 80 feet of tire at one time, but, but the one section I had concreted in. So I just cut a section off when I had to drop it. And uh, so I was gonna lose part of the section, so I just cut out like a two foot piece of that section. But uh, anyway, that's that'll be the mount part to the ground. And then here's my hinge mounts that I came up with. And basically what will happen with these is I will set them on the top of here, run a uh, nice three eighths hardened steel bolt through there. And uh, once I run that through there, then it'll just give you the ability to lean the tire over and bring it back up, but it'll, it'll stay, uh, stationary and then of course the back one will be the one that you unbolt to drop it and raise it hopefully you're getting that uh which basically i just took some eighth inch plate steel and uh used these obviously fit right inside of the the tire like uh the sections do so once i get her all bolted up i'll just slide my sections on or i'll slide these on to my sections and then i'll take it over to the to the hinge mount 
go ahead and set her in there and run my bolt in and then I'll put the two front ones in and then obviously make it towards now a hinge mount then I'll bring it up and then um, the last one will just be a bolt to, to hold uh, hold the hinge mount in place hope that all makes sense to you um, as you can see I'm pretty far along I've got the base built got the concrete poured I've got my uh, hinge mounts built about the only thing I need to do now is I need to go through make sure everything's level and bore my holes through here to put my uh, put my hinge bolts in and then uh, then we'll be in the process of putting the tire together I'll probably make this a two-part because it uh it's gonna it's gonna be a little bit before I get to the second part I might even post this pretty quick here kind of give you an idea what I've been doing and working on but uh, anyway I think it uh I think uh, it's pretty ingenious I actually I didn't come up with the idea I kind of stole the idea if you go out and look at Ron tires they have a hinge section I think they make it like 38 inches and basically they did the same type system on top and then it's just a long piece that you're supposed to put in the concrete where I kind of made my own was I decided to go ahead and build a triangle base and weld the tire to that and then that gives me the ability to to bolt and unbolt it as well as it gives me some ability to uh, tweak it if it's not quite level and, uh, and then I just tighten it down there and of course that's kind of a one-time deal down there because after it's bolted down other than needing to move it or something um, shouldn't have to mess with that all you mess with is the three hinge mounts at the top when you drop and lower it as far as doing antennas etc hopefully that all makes sense anyway uh we're definitely in the middle of it today i'm going to try and get these you know it's kind of precise work i want to make sure everything's as level as i possibly can and uh these are obviously all welded at the same distance of each one the holes are all bored the same area in fact if you put them all three together you can see they're they're a matching pair which they need to be that way the, the obviously it's level on the hinges so really as long as i bore my holes at a level plane here then i'll be a be perfect as far as so like i said i'll do the two here and then the back one i probably won't even bore the hole until after i get the, the tire up and then make sure everything's nice and and positioned and then i'll bore that last hole and put that last bolt which is really just to stay it's just going to keep the hinge from coming down without having a bolt that and it'll support that back one so anyway hopefully that all makes sense to you um I, in fact what i'll probably just put one section on and go ahead and raise that one section and make sure everything's square and i'm good then i'll drop back down and, and uh, add the other sections obviously the way these tires work is they just slide into each other just like that does it's got a bolt that goes through that holds them together pretty simple um just a lot of manual labor there's a lot of labor to get it down i still got a lot of work to do too i've got to uh um re-outfit it um obviously put all my tennis back on it uh, i uh, have a ham high gain ham four whatever rotor but i'm actually going to go over to this little rca one i've had a lot of problems with the ham rotor um i think the swiping is not real good and, and obviously uh i'm not carrying the kind of load that i need for that 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 rotor um really the only thing i need, need the rotor for is i have a 12 element 11 or 12 element uh two meter beam that i run i don't run a beam for the for the 11 meter or hf that'll be off the of dipoles in the vertical so so really with the loading i'm going to have that little uh that little rca there will do the trick and it's got a lot of nice, neat features like memories and stuff that the the high gain didn't have so anyway i'll probably do a little video on that when i get that all mounted on there i mean uh I figure for what I could sell the high game for, I could buy three of those. So it's and it, it, you know it's a little over a hundred dollars for that, and it's a pretty nice little setup for a hundred. That and the fact of that my rotor wire was bad on my old one, and I was gonna have to place the rotor wire. Well, it uses an eight wire rotor. It's like over a hundred bucks to get the length of rotor cable that I would need for just to control it. Whereas with this one, it only uses a three wire, which is pretty easy to come by. I mean, technically you could use an extension cord. But I, I won't. I'll, uh, I've got some other wire I could use, but a lot more reasonable as far as the control wire that I'll need for it. So it just kind of made more sense to go with that, which, again, I'm rambling on, but kind of wanted to give you a good update of what's going on around Electron World here. And uh, pretty soon I'm going to be really talking. Um, it's been a while since I've had an antenna nice, and since uh, last Father's Day we had a bad windstorm. And it took down the pole that I had. I just had a pole for my antenna. So I've really just been working off of that little thing about five feet off the ground. So it'll be nice to get up back 50 feet again and uh, start uh, touching touching the world again. Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this. If you haven't, please subscribe. It doesn't cost anything. And as always, have a great day. This is Electron Man. Oh, and give me a thumbs up, please.